Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. The normal process I go through as I am um, designing a project, building it, uh, doing the recording, and then getting to the editing and voiceover and all that sort of stuff, I go through an awful lot of possible ideas, the things that I, I think might work, and in the end, they end up getting edited out or I change my mind about them or whatever. And you guys actually never get to see any of that. So I thought I would do uh, this time. Now, for a change, is I'm going to take you through some of the ideas I have. Some of them are just ridiculous. Some of them are things I just want to test out. And you'll get to see a lot of that instead of just seeing the end product. And in the end, hopefully, we'll actually have a functional diatom filter as well. Which, by the way, this is what it, this project is. It's going to be a mini version, as I said in a video or two ago, of the diatom filter I built uh, quite some time ago now. I mean, that filter works really well but it's too large for a couple of things I need this one to do. And the other thing about this one, it's going to be an in-tank filter, uh, which will make it out of the way, which is nice. And uh, it has, in the case, a, a fair advantage over the big one, which is way too bulky. So originally when I was starting this idea, I said, well, because it's in-tank, I don't have to worry about if there's a slight drip or whatever. I can try some ideas out and see if I can actually get a friction fit acrylic um, piece, those rings you see there, to fit in and have it at least close to waterproof. So I cut four of them because I was going to put two in the top and two in the bottom and then I was going to use those rings you see there as spacers and I fiddled around with that for a while. And that is definitely one of the ideas that you guys would normally never see uh, because it is just too finicky to get it to fit in properly. Uh, so one of the first changes I made is the bottom, which is this piece here, is going to get welded in place. So I'm going to have that as a welded joint, so that'll be waterproof. And uh, it is going to have, hopefully, at this point still anyway, a, a friction fit lid. So the pump is going to be on the bottom to the left now. The water is going to shoot up through here. And if I leave it open like that what's going to happen is the water is just going to blast all the diatom powder off the bottom of the screen so there's going to be a part of the screen that's not going to have any media there and then of course it simply isn't going to work so i need to deflect the flow i need the flow to go uh, to the sides first so that little piece of pvc pipe you see there with a the hole drilled in it that's going to get capped by that little square PVC you see there. And a little earlier in the clip you saw, I opened up the can. And one of the reasons why you're not going to see this done today is uh, my, my PVC glue is pretty much dried out now. And I don't have any acetone to, uh, to loosen it up to make it uh, this a viable uh, weld. So I'll have to you know, do that another time. So that is going to get uh, glued on there. And I'll turn that down in the lathe. And that will keep the water from shooting straight up. It will keep it in a more of a swirly pattern. And then hopefully that will end up allowing the diatom powder to um, populate the entire area of the screen, not just one end. So this is what I'm going to do for the top, at least at this point anyway. I have another friction fit internal uh, lid there. And then I made a, a ring, or sorry, two rings. But one of them is going to fit as a friction fit on the outside of the tube. It's going to get welded to that one I just removed. And that's going to be a cap. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use these fittings you see here. I'm going to go through the wiggle process of uh, sticking these on in a second. But first what I have to do is, uh, this is too long, so I'm going to have to cut that down and get that set for, um, well, so it all fits in the right size. This is just a piece of, of uh, this. actually this was the spare I had for my old diatom filter. I had made two just in case one got worn out. And instead of having to make a complete new one, I decided just to, to use that for this project as well. And in time, if I do require another one, which I don't think is going to ever happen, uh, I can make another one as well on top of that. But it's unlikely, I think, that I'll be using both diatom filters at the same time. Um, so it's, I don't think it's ever really going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those and cut them down. And also, I can see the, the screen there is cut down now. And also, I'm going to turn down one of the fittings this, this is the bottom fitting i turned that down a little bit and i also turned down the size of the deflector there uh, just to give me a little bit extra room i don't want this to be too too snug so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fit these together a little bit and uh, see how how they look now another reason for doing this style of video is uh, 
I get an awful lot of ideas from uh, your comments. So if you guys have an interesting idea on how you would like uh, me to do the lid for this, because uh, I think the friction fit will work. Uh, but like I said, someone might have a better way of doing it, and I always listen to these things. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comments below if uh, you have an idea for that sort of thing. Because this is uh, going to be a little bit finicky, at least initially, to install and possibly to clean and stuff. But we'll see how it goes. That's how that's going to fit in there. Uh, this is going to fit obviously through there. And I always say I'm going to have to machine these uh, before I get to the point where I uh, weld the bottom on. So these are going to fit properly. And I can actually just pop this off and pop it on without having to go anywhere near the, uh, like obviously the bottom's going to weld into place. So it is not going to be a possible uh, possibility for that. So that will be uh, a challenge for sure. So that's going to fit on there like that. I'll have the internal and the external uh, rings to keep everything aligned. And then the cap here, of course, is just going to go on top. And it's just going to hold it all in place. And that's pretty much how that's all going to fit. Now, when that is welded in place, the, the two top rings, it, it will hopefully be a little easier to get this in and out. Um, but again, I won't be able to know that until I actually put them together. The plan now is over the next couple of days, I will get this functioning and I'll do the recording of course that and then this will be Friday's video and we'll have it actually on an aquarium and working. The other thing of course I need to do is I need to make a bracket for it and have so it can sit on the tank. But as you can see, the nice thing I like about this, without the bolts and the silicone and all that sort of stuff, it is a much cleaner look. And as I said earlier, it doesn't have to be uh, watertight. This is like, mostly just an experiment to see if I can you know, machine a sufficient enough lid and that sort of stuff so it won't actually you know, drip. And then of course I can compensate for any small drips in later projects, uh, obviously with either a little bit of silicone or hopefully with something a little bit more viscous, uh, like um, I don't know, some sort of waterproof uh, gel, who knows, I mean, something that will not be obtrusive. So that's pretty much how this is all going to fit together. I'm going to assemble the whole thing just, you know, just by putting the pieces together to show you what the rest of it's going to look like. And then, as I said, for uh, Friday, I'll have this up and running and show you how some of these decisions may not even actually get into the final product. Who knows? I, I Like I said, if you want to so make a suggestion for this, uh, definitely leave the suggestion uh, no later than like Wednesday night uh, or you know Thursday morning maybe it'll give me enough time hopefully to get that uh, for, together for uh, Friday so if you leave it till like Saturday or something like that it's gonna be way too late obviously uh, and even Friday's just you know even actually late on Thursday it might be too late anyway enough of that uh, so this is how it's gonna fit. Uh, this is the return pipe. The water is going to obviously go up through. It's going to swirl around. It's going to pass through the diatom powder and the screen and then return into the tank. Now, again, I'm going to put a bracket on this just to keep everything uh, where it needs to be. And that obviously the bottom is going to get welded in place. Uh, so that'll make that a lot easier. I'm going to shorten that pipe as well. Uh, that pipe is a little too long. Uh, I want to keep this as compact as possible. And definitely has to be under a uh, total 18 inches uh, for what's in the tank itself. Uh, it will, um, the top part, like the YouTube one that sticks out of the aquarium, that's fine. Uh, but from the top of the friction fit lid to the bottom of the pump uh, has to be under 18 inches. Because that's uh, the smallest size tank I think I'm going to be putting this on. And, um, well again, it's just, you know, one of those necessary things. If I'm going to use this in the shop, it doesn't matter. I can just put it at an angle. But if I'm going to put it in a client's tank, it has to look like it actually belongs there. That's the kind of thing that you have to think about. And again, of course, it's um, uh, one of those things that I will gradually work on. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, it's one of these things that I've never really tried before. I've never tried this video before, or this style, showing you, like I said, some of these ideas... Uh, may not even get anywhere near the final product. It may not even look like this by the time I actually uh, get everything uh, functioning the way I want it to function because it actually has to work. 
And then, of course, uh, like I said, uh, there'll be an end product. And hopefully you guys will have some interesting ideas for this. And definitely let me know what you think about it. And, of course, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.